Hi, my name's Kelly, and I'm here today with facepaint.com, and I have my model here with me. Melissa. And today I did a black light tiger design on her chest. So for this design, I used Weiser's ICU stencils. I put an eye on this side of her and an eye on this side of her. And from there on, it was layering with uh, the pink. I started with black and then I used green for the eyeballs. And then green is a base too, back here. That I just layered on before I used any stencils. And then after everything else, I used Wolf's Clear Neon Paint. And I just touched the areas that I used white in and so that it would glow when you use black light. I also used Vivid Colors Black Light Activated Glitter here. So it looks great without and with the black light there. So I'm going to use Weiser's ICU stencils. I'm gonna try and use uh, one of his tiger eye stencils for a design on Melissa's chest. So I'm going to take my master airbrush and put it into my quick release, snap it in. I'm gonna take the tape off and attach it. I'm gonna take this first little piece and just gonna try and lay it out with this. And I have my PSI on a little over 20. Since it's not on her face, you can use even more like 30 or 40, but I don't think we're gonna need much more than that. So there's one eye there. So now we have both of those eyes in place. So now I wanna add some green. So I'm gonna pop that right off, see how easy that was. So I take my green and I just snap it on. That makes it easy. And gently pull back to get, a, the closer you are, the harsher the paint will be further away you are, the more soft and diffused it will be. So since the airbrush is so soft and diffused, it's really necessary to use stencils like Weiser stencils or any other masks um, in order to get a crisp, more sharp line. So now I'm going to use some pink. And then there's a whole bunch of embellishments and everything on Weiser's sheets. So there's stars and there's um, the edges too you can use to further um, embellish your design. So it's really like a layering process for each piece you use. So this part will cover up the entire eye that I already, I already worked on. So I'm just adding some more of these tiger type stripes all around here. Yeah, and all of the cutouts on the sides of Weiser's stencils, you can always use them. Even like, look at this, boom, there's another part for an eyeball. Now I'm gonna use some Vivid Glitters, which are these loose uh, black light activated glitters. And I got a really cool trick from Marcella Bustamante that you can use a clear chapstick. Put it over the paint, it won't smear the paint, and then you can just stick the glitters right on there. And there's the design, and that glows in black light if you have black light. Thanks so much for watching. All the products we use today are listed in the links below. Uh, please be sure to share with your friends. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye. bye.